Well, to other medical matters, malaria is one of the world's biggest killers and half the world is at risk. As the disease becomes resistant to existing drugs, it's vitally important that new treatments are found. And that's what makes the breakthrough by scientists at the University of Leicester so important. They found a potential weakness in malaria parasites that could save many lives. Pop star Cheryl Cole brought the disease onto the front pages after falling victim last year despite taking malaria tablets. Michael Siebert has more. I was just so weak and sick. I remember actually feeling like I was dying, if that makes any sense. Half the world's population is at risk of malaria. Cheryl Cole caught it last year after a trip to Tanzania on the east coast of Africa. She survived. Nearly a million people a year don't. But all that could change after a vital breakthrough was made here at the University of Leicester. The reaction of the malarial field and the partners and our drug company partners has uh, reflected the joy that we had in actually uh, doing this study together. The half a billion people who have malaria have been bitten by a female mosquito that injects the malaria parasite into the bloodstream. The parasite then infects the red blood cells where it lives and grows. It's an extremely um, challenging environment for a parasite to live within a cell. And we focused on a group of proteins called protein kinases and asked, are they essential for the survival of the parasite within the red blood cell? And we have identified more than 30 of those proteins, those protein kinases, to be essential. The experts at the University of Leicester are continuing to work with colleagues in Monash University in Australia to develop a drug that can kill those proteins that malaria need to survive. During the half an hour central tonight is on this evening, 40 children will die of malaria. If this research is successful, thousands, if not millions of lives could be saved. Michael Sibbert in Leicester for Central Tonight.